sixteenths of an inch away from the commutator. Then we'll also need to adjust our hydro check nut. Pick up the hydro check at that point and start to feed. Now if we need to adjust our end of cut switch, there's a lock here that locks on the keyway on the bottom, and there's a lock here that will lock this post. If you unlock both of them, you can slide the whole thing quickly back and forth. When we get close, then we'll lock the small dial, and then we got fine adjustment here where you can use the screw to bring it in until our end of cut light lights up. And when we get it where we want it, our light will light up and we'll lock it in position and we'll be set. Got to come over a little further. That looks good now. Just slide this close. Again, lock the small one. And dial in until our end of cut light lights up. And then lock the big dial. Now that's set in position. At that point, this will retract and head home. Now I want to get a little closer with my micrometer dial here from the commutator diameter. You need to be careful of the core scan tool. To start off making your adjustments on the comm so you get that to cut first and then once you're in contact with the commutator then you can bring your core scan tool up into the core you do it that way because you only have adjustment right on the block here and when you start to adjust this one then you're moving both tools at the same time so if we get the diamond to cut first then we'll bring the core scan in until that touches then you can adjust back here so they're both cutting the same amount. Now, we'll need to close the hood before the reset, we'll be able to reset the machine. Once you trip this micro switch over here, you can hit the reset button, everything will be retracted, and we'll be able to go ahead and cycle. Now you may need to cycle the machine two or three times before the oil gets up into the half bearing since I had to switch half bearings. Now in order for the machine to run the full cycle, you push the green buttons down, you release them, before the door closes, you won't run the cycle. You need to hold the green buttons down until this door is completely closed, then you can release. And the machine will run its cycle, hit the end of cut switch, return back home. And that's when you need to make the adjustment. Depending on the finish requirements and uh, you know the amount of material you're taking off, it can be sped up and, and ran a lot faster. Um, you may not be able to take quite as much material on the core, but um, we can speed.